Now, another cute trick we can do with halogens that we can't necessarily do with alcohols is the substitution with KCN. So K, potassium here is your spectator ion. What we really have here is K plus and the cyanide ion. So cyanide here, sorry, took me a minute to redraw the little structure in my head there. Cyanide is a really good Lewis base. And so what it will do is that in terms of our al halogen alkane, we'll replace the chloride and give us, gives us a cyano group on the alkane that we're working with. Now, big things about this one, this is irreversible. You've created a carbon-carbon coupling reaction. So it gives us the ability to add an additional carbon to the chain. Now, the attachment is always to the carbon. We're never gonna see attachment to the nitrogen. So this, even though this nitrogen has a lone pair on it, this is not the part of the molecule that is acting like a Lewis base. It's the carbon that's acting like a Lewis base. We're also gonna form KCl when we finish with that spectator. Now, the big thing here is that we are doing this through a mechanism that is gonna work best for secondary and tertiary, al or tertiary halogens. So we don't want to run this reaction with something like a Cl on the end of a, of a CH2 group. This definitely needs, needs to be run with secondary and tertiary, but it's a powerful synthetic step that allows us to do a carbon-carbon coupling reaction and still end up with a functionalization when we get done.